Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint Urukai black armour. So the first colour that we're going to use is going to be Citadel Lead Belcher. We're going to have all the armour and all the chainmail, a good coat of this. I do prefer painting this over black undercoat, but I'd run out of black undercoat, so it's just down to the normal white that was used at the time. We want to give all of the armour and chainmail a good coat of lead belcher and we can move on to the next section. I'm not going to show you all of this because it is just painting all the armour with the lead belcher. So with the lead belcher in place we're now going to use some Citadel Contrast Black Templar and you're going to give a good coat of that to all the armour plates. Don't put any onto the chainmail, you're going to leave that as just lead belcher for the time being. But you want to put all the armour plates a good coat of Black Templar. Now the good thing about this and the reason that I use it for the armour is that once you've painted it on it does give it that black colour that the armour has but it also allows you to see the metallic underneath it that you still have that bit of shine showing through. Try and be careful when you're putting this on because it is obviously very liquidy it will quite happily run into any grooves or areas where it's not meant to be. If you're not too careful. So the armour plates you have the front, you have the one over his groin there, the shoulders, the forearm, and the front of the shins and feet, and obviously his shield too. I'm just speeding through this because it is just layering it on with the contrast. Then we can move on to the next layer. So now we're just using a little bit of Citadel Null Oil and this is just to do the chain mail. Didn't really need this in this particular video but I thought since we're doing the black arm we might as well do the chain mail as well. And get a reasonable effect on that just from using Null Oil. Can use a little bit of a Grax Earth shade if you want to dirty that up a little bit more, but the normal oil should do the trick. Now we're going to be using the lead belcher again. I'm using a really quite an old brush here, it's an old medium layer brush from Citadel. It's got no point anymore, and all we're doing is we're getting a bit of lead belcher onto the brush. We're rubbing off the excess on that, we're just going to gently dry brush lead belcher over all the armour panels again. This brings out some of the shine and it also leaves the a lot of the contrast in there and it just gives it that look of when armour hasn't been polished or it's just been made and it's very rough and ready and it has the sort of like kind of carbon and grime look and that is all just sitting in those recesses and on the plates because you're only doing a light dry brush of this to give it that shine, mainly on the edges to pick out the details. But you can see that the armour does have a shine when it catches the light, and when it's not catching the light, it does look black. So just going to speed through this while we dry brush some lead belcher onto all of the armour panels. If you want to make the chain mail a bit shiny you can dry brush some of the lead belcher back onto them too. But if not just dry brush it onto all of the bits that you put the contrast on. And once that's done we can move on to the next one. Like so. Now, 
now going to use a little tiny bit of lead belcher. We're using a brush with a point this time. It's going to be a Sithel medium layer brush. All we're going to be doing is picking out a few of the little details. So the little ridges on the armour. Where it's likely to have been scuffed or scraped. We're just picking them out with a little tiny bit of lead belcher. Just to make them a little bit more distinct. We're also going to put on a few little scrapes and slices there. So maybe a blade's caught his armour plate and it's just glanced off. Or something scraped down the front of it. Generally we're just going to pick out some of the details, add a few little scrapes, maybe a few little dents in it. We can move on to the next colour. So next up we're going to use a tiny little bit of Sithel Agrax Earth Shade. And again, like we used the contrast and that left that kind of unpolished, rough looking armour kind of colour. The Agrax Air Shade will just add a little bit of discoloration to that. So maybe there's a little bit of extra grime on there, or maybe it hasn't been cleaned properly since they made it and just lashed it on the ground as the orcs seem to do. And this just gives that a slight bit of discoloration, a build up of grime on the armour plates. As I said earlier, if you do want to add any of this to the chainmail, you can as well, and it does discolour the chainmail. Gives that slightly grubby look, which is fine. I'm really just trying to paint this into some of the recesses, so that when it dries, it won't be that obvious, but you will have that kind of slightly brown, grimy colour around certain areas of it where you've added it. It's quite discreet, but when you notice it, it does look pretty cool. Like so. So this is how his arm is looking at the moment. It's got that rough, worn kind of, not finished, not polished look about it. So we're going to use now is a tiny little bit of Citadel Stormhost Silver, or if you've got the model air chrome, you can use that. And like we just did with the lead belcher, we're just going to pick out a few little areas to make them really shine. So the edges have been worn or caught on something and it's scraped a nice little shiny patch through it. So I'm just trying to work on little edges, little ridges, anywhere where if the arm has been taken off and put down it will have scuffed or anywhere where in fighting it would have been getting bashed into or had weaponry hit it. So just going to speed through this a little bit. We're already picking out a few little details as we go. Really do like these Urukai miniatures, they are cracking little figures. Smaller than 40k but with plenty of detail. Because the palette's not that big, you can paint them up pretty quickly. It's not too taxing if you're a bit busy, which is good. Once we finish this, you can move on to the final colour. Final colour they're going to use is a little bit of Vallejo Model Wash Rust, or Light Rust, either one will do. What you're going to do is get a little bit of this onto your brush, 
and then you're going to add it to some of the ridges where water would collect. Maybe hold a little bit of dampness there. The reason we're using a little bit of this is I was looking online for pictures of their armour, and some of the armour I came across was a bit old and a bit weathered, and it had that kind of rusted look because the armour is obviously not polished, it's not treated or anything like that, so it will oxidise pretty quickly. So I thought I'll get a little bit of the rust on the go, just add that to it, not too much, just enough so it discolours it and gives it that kind of slightly orange hint to certain areas. Like so. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoyed the content, and you'd like to support us, you can find links to our coffee and Patreon pages linked below. Thanks very much.